Here's everything you need to know to solve systems of equations word problems on the SAT. First, the most common type of systems problem you're going to run into is going to be two linear equations in standard form. Standard form being AX plus BY equals C, where X and Y are some sort of items, A and B are values attached to those items, and C is our total. This first question is a classic example. We've got a concert venue sells ticket for two sections, right? So our items in this case are going to be tickets and we have either general admission tickets or VIP tickets. So X plus Y is going to be total general admission tickets plus total VIP tickets. And it tells us that 150 tickets were sold, right? So that would equal 150. We also get the value equation, right? General admission tickets are $40 each. Again, I was saying that general admission is X, so that would be 40X. And VIP tickets cost $100 each, so plus 100Y. And then finally, they give us a total value, 8,400. So the majority of these types of questions are gonna be set up exactly like this, again, where we have items plus items equals total items and value plus value equals total value. And of course, we can just plug this in to Desmos, pull that up real quick. And we're looking for our intersection here, 110, 40. Boom, so our answer is going to be 40. Here we've got another common subset. We've got a total, we know it's a total because it's saying the customer paid. So $9 is going to be equal to three pounds of apples and three pounds of bananas. So I can say something like 3A or 3B, but I'm gonna stick with X and Y so that I can plug it into Desmos easily. So 3X plus uh, 3Y. It also tells us that another customer paid 10.50 for four pounds of apples, so 4X, and three pounds of bananas plus 3Y. So here you can see it's a little bit different because we basically have two different versions of value plus value equals value. Once we have it set up, we can simply plug it into Desmos, which I will do. And it looks like uh, regardless, they're both going to cost uh, $1.50. So our answer is going to be choice B here, $1.50. So those items and values type questions are gonna be your most common, but another common type is what I like to call these comparison equations. And it really comes down to just turning words into math, but let me show you what I mean when I say comparison. So in the first sentence, we are getting basically one of those value equations, right? It says he jogged at six miles per hour. So we could say that you know jogging is X, so we could say six X and biked at 12 miles per hour, so we could say biking is Y, and he covered a total of 150 miles. So again, value plus value equals value, right? Nothing new here. But the, the second part that we get is a comparison. It says he spent twice as much time biking as he did jogging. And this is going to create an equation that involves just X and Y compared to each other. So if biking, was y, then y would be equal to 2x because it would take two times the amount of jogging to get to his biking, which was, you know, again, he spent twice as much time biking as he did jogging. And with these, sometimes students will get it mixed up. They'll put uh, x equals 2y instead. Just remember that the larger value should be by itself because we're going to have to multiply the smaller value in order to get to that larger value. And by the way, in case you're wondering what this cool system is, this is going to be the SAT Success Studio, which mimics the Blue Book interface. Really cool tool here. And this is actually one of uh, 30 questions that you can buy for only $2 if you use the link in the description. So if you wanna get additional practice, go ahead and use that link just two bucks and you can practice all 30 of these questions. Anyway, uh, let's move on, let's finish this. I'm gonna pull up Desmos, stick it over here, throw these in real quick. All right, and we've got five and 10. So it says, how many miles did Luis bike during the week? Now remember, we said biking was Y, so we might be thinking, oh, it's 10, right? 
But we would be wrong because we have to remember that our original equation here was value plus value equals value. What was that value? That value was the number of miles, right? So X and Y don't represent the number of miles that Luis jogged or bike. X and Y represent the number of hours that Luis jogged or biked. So if Y equals 10, that means that he biked for 10 hours, but to get the number of miles, I'm going to have to take those 10 hours and multiply them by 12 miles per hour, right? So 12 times 10 would be 120. So in this case, my answer is actually 120. And that's one of the most common uh, types of trickery that you're going to run into on the SAT with these questions. Make sure that you are giving the answer for value if they're asking about value rather than giving the answer for items. So at this point, you already have all the tools you need. I want you to pause the video and practice with this question. Just remember, we're looking for items, value, and comparisons. But let's go ahead and take a look. So this one says we've got a 36 long rope cut into two pieces. One piece is X feet long and the other piece is Y feet long. So this seems to be items plus items equals items, right? If we add X and Y together, and I'll just throw this directly into Desmos because why not? If we add X and Y together, that's going to be the full length of X plus the full length of Y to get our 36 feet. And then we have a comparison. The value of X is six more. And here I like to just turn words into math. The value of X would be X. The word is means equals. Six more is gonna be plus six, twice the value of Y. That would be two Y, which would come before we add it. Boom, and that's it. What is the value of X? Value of X is 26, just like that. All right, I got one more practice question here for you. Go ahead and give it a try, but here we go. I'm gonna pull up Desmos, and this time, it says we've got two types of tickets. So it seems like it's going to be those um, items plus items and values plus values. We've got floor tickets and we've got balcony tickets. So I'll say floor tickets are X. So we'll say 20X uh, because they're $20 each plus 10Y. And then they do give us a total of 700 for the value. They also give us a total of 40 tickets. And remember, that would just be X plus Y because X and Y are the number of each ticket. Cool. Simple enough. Let's find our intersection, which is 30, 10. Now we see 30 and 10 here, but remember, we want to check. Are we calculating the number of tickets or are we calculating the value, the dollars? And it says how much money in dollars was collected from floor tickets. So remember, floor tickets was X. So that's uh, X being 30. But then we have to multiply 30 by 20. 30 times 20 is going to be 600. So our answer for this one should be choice D. And again, if you want the full 30 question pack, go ahead and use the link in the description. You're going to get access to all 30 questions using that same blue book style interface that I was using. And I'm going to give it to you for only two bucks.